Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Whitney. If you're new here, then a big warm welcome from me. And if you're returning, then thank you so much for coming back. As you can probably tell from today's title, I am going to be styling five of my least worn items of clothing. Or, yeah, not so much least worn, but things that I've not worn in literally years, or at least it feels like that. Some of these things you've probably never even seen me wear. So yeah, I just thought it would be fun to film a video not related to spending money and not, you know, I'm trying not to buy new clothes at the moment because I do have a lot and I feel like before I buy any new clothes I definitely need to do a massive clear out of my wardrobe. So yeah, I just thought that this would be a kind of more sustainable way of bringing you fashion content but something a little bit different. I'm going to show you the items that I am going to be styling up in today's video now. So first up is this Ralph Lauren long sleeve shirt, it's just got the logo here and it is a size small, um, I do think that it will still fit me. Um, I've literally had this for quite a few years now. I picked this up in Portsmouth when myself and I just went down there for uh, one of our weekends away which was a few years ago now and yeah good quality shirt and I've just not really used it so that's the first item I'm going to be styling up today. Then the second item I picked out of my wardrobe is this knitted sort of wrap um, style cardigan. I actually forgot I had this which just shows how long I've not worn this item for. It's in this um, mixture of colours and yeah that's the second item I will be trying to style up today. Next up we have these jeans from Primark, they are a size 12. I think they are like a mom fit jean and they have this like rip at the knee. I do think that the rip is actually ripped more than it's supposed to rip but I thought I'd give it a whirl and see if I can try and style these up. Um, I've definitely bought more jeans since I last wore these but I thought be interesting to see if I do think that I would get some use out of these or whether I can style them up or whether I need to donate them. For the fourth item, sticking with the jean trend or denim trend, is this, um, what is it? A long, long line with a split at the bottom um, jean denim skirt. It has some pockets on the back and yeah, I'm not sure if I've just not worn this because it's not warm enough, I guess, to wear it. Although, prob could probably get away with it now. Um, but I just haven't reached for this at all recently. I don't even think I wore it last summer. So, yeah, that's the fourth item. And then the final fifth item that I'm going to be styling up is this super dry coat jacket. Um, I actually spent a lot of money on this jacket and I've definitely not got my wear out of it. Um, so pick this out to try and style up today to see if I can try and come up with some outfits myself of how to actually get my wear out of this jacket because I absolutely love it. I think I'm just a bit scared of actually getting it dirty, although it is in this very unique fabric. Um, but yeah, that's my last item that I'm going to be trying to style up today. Of course, if you do like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from myself and check me out on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at wit.style and I would love to see you over there. So, without further ado, let me show you how I styled the first item. And here is how I've chosen to style the first item. Uh, excuse me, I've just popped my hair out just so it's out of the way. Um, but here is the Ralph Lauren shirt. Um, yeah, I've just got on a Zara bodysuit and some pretty little thing um, cycling shorts, if you can see. And then I've just chucked on the shirt as like a little overshirt kind of thing. Um, left it unbuttoned and I've just rolled up the shirt, up, up the sleeves. Um, do excuse me because it definitely does need an iron. Um, I've paired it with my cream New Balance just to tie in the um, the light colour of the shirt. Here it is with a close up. And yeah, I just feel like this is like a nice little 
summer outfit um, kind of looks like an all-in-one underneath and then just a nice little overshirt from the top obviously and um, if you're out you can take this shirt off and um, have it either like that or just off completely and yeah I just think this is, is this is a quick and easy way of making a really simple outfit look a bit more what would you say high-end obviously it's Ralph Lauren so it's um, designer but I think that any shirt can you know I just think that this is a good look for summer definitely with the long sleeves can keep you warm if it does get a bit chilly so next up I've styled the cross body wrap uh, cardigan but if you can tell I've actually kind of switched it into something that it really doesn't look like um, but I'll show you that in a minute I've just styled it with, I've kept the Zara bodysuit on and I've chucked on the Pretty Little Thing wet look leggings. I've not popped the shoes on but I would style this with some boots and um, so some black leather look boots with this hardware kind of matches the hardware on the wet look leggings. And yeah, I just think that that's a really um, kind of cool outfit I guess. Um, but I'll just show you what I mean by I've changed it. So actually, um, I'm kind of wearing it upside down, if that makes sense. Um, I'll just show you now. I saw this trick on Fashion Influx um, on Instagram. But basically, this is what the cardigan looks like if you are to wear it normally. So like that, and I actually think that looks quite cool too. Um, yeah, I actually quite like that as well, but I kind of um, wore it upside down, inside out. I'll just quickly show you, but Fashion Influx does show it better. Um, so if you can see, here's it inside out, and I put my right arm into what should be the left arm. And whoo, then put my left arm into what should be the right arm, and just kind of flick it up like that. I mean, it does take a little bit to, it takes a minute or two to kind of get it sitting where you want it to sit. But yeah, it just changes a long cardigan into a kind of shorter version. And yeah, that is item number two. So item number three are these Primark mom style jeans with the slit in the knee. I'll just hang you down so you can see them a bit better. If you can see them there. They're a lovely fit and I'm really happy that they actually fit me. But yeah, as you can see, I've decided to pair it with this lovely new jumper that I've got in this coral pink color and this belt from Pretty Little Thing. I basically wore this outfit yesterday with a different pair of jeans and yeah, I love the outfit so I just thought I'd show you this one again and here's a close-up of the jeans and the different colourways. Yeah, so yesterday I wore this outfit with my band. Just think that this is a really cool, comfortable outfit but yeah, these jeans are definitely still fit me nicely and I think they're a very nice fit so I think I'll probably be keeping those. But that is outfit number three. And so this is item number four, the um, denim Primark skirt with the buttons running down. I'll just hang you down again. And hopefully here you can see the skirt length a bit better. Um, I've not put any shoes on yet but again, Ooh. I would probably wear some, sorry, some black boots and um, just obviously would go nice with the belt and the top. I'm not going to lie, I actually think this outfit is really cute and honestly I never knew that this skirt had a belt to match it. And um, if I didn't already say this top is from In The Style and it's actually part of a co ward set. And this is what it looks like all together. Yeah, I think I might actually wear this this next summer because I think it's a really cute outfit. But that's how I've styled up item number four. 
And then finally, my last item that I chose to style is this super dry jacket. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I'll just show you a close-up of it now. Some black buttons. It's kind of like a mini trench coat, I'd say. And um, you can wear it either way. And I've just decided to style it with this um, stripy dark blue and white top. Um, these dark blue jeans from Next, I believe. And my Ugg boots. And yeah, I just think that it looks like a really cosy outfit. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much more to say. It's just kind of basic, basic jeans, basic top, and thrown on this jacket. I'm sure there's probably other ways for me to style up this jacket to make it look a bit more, I don't know, fashionable, shall we say. But this just reminds me of like a quick outfit, a quick comfortable outfit that I can just chuck on. And yeah, that is the last item that I'm styling up today item number five and so that now brings us to the end of today's video i really hope that you enjoyed it i definitely love doing fashion related videos on my channel um i'm trying to get better with the layout of doing them um so if you've got any tips or you think that i could do better in how i film these videos please let me know down in the comments and yeah, I've had some real fun doing today's video. If you would like to see more, just let me know. If you did like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. And check me out on Instagram. I would love to see you over there. My Instagram handle is at wit.style. And yeah, I hope that you all have a lovely rest of the week. And I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.